everybody, what's going on? We've got a awesome Michael Jackson inspired look today. It's from the music video, The Way You Make Me Feel. Um, it was in the 80s, I think like 1987, 86, something like that. So it's in a newer era Michael Jackson. Not thriller. So um, yeah, we did some blue liner um, to represent his blue shirt in the music video. Um, and it's just a wing um, because the lady in the music video is not wearing much makeup. So I wanted to keep it pretty natural. Um, he kind of likes his co-stars, female co-stars, to um, be kind of more of a natural look. So we did a very natural eye with a little bit of glitter because Michael loves his shine. And the blue liner, of course. And then I did a nude lip for you guys. And then we also did some very Michael Jackson inspired eyebrows. I hope you guys like this video and stay tuned if you'd like to know how I got this very cool look. So we're going to prime the lids. Um, I already did my foundation and concealer and all that. You can watch it in my foundation video. I'm going to put primer on all over my lid and all the way up to my eyebrow and even in my brow because um, I'm going to be filling them in a bit thicker today. So next, um, this is really super easy. I'm just going to take my face powder that I use in this right here. And I'm just going to kind of like scrub my brush in there and I'm just going to pat it all over the lid. And you just want a pretty like thick coverage of this um, so there's no like veins or redness or anything like that coming through because we want a very natural base to the eye. I'm also going to go in this inner corner and under the lash line just to ensure we've got everything canceled out. Next I'm going to take this highlight color. It's Vanilla by Urban Decay. It's right here. Woo. And it's like a gold shimmered kind of like creamy eyeshadow. It's so pretty. It has just a little bit of like a gold iridescence to it and I'm just going to place that under the highest point in our brow and pack that there and then start sweeping downwards and kind of pulling the color down so there's no line of demarcation there. And I'll zoom in. And I'm also going to take a little bit of this in my inner corner here, in this tear duct area. I'm going to brush it inward about a third of the eye, so about to here. And this is just going to give a little pizzazz because um, it is so basic. And Michael is not about basic, to be honest. Alright, next I'm going to take one of my new favorite things. It is the Lorac 3D Liquid Luster. It's amazing. It's like liquid glitter. So with this dropper, I'm just going to put a tiny bit on my finger. You do not need a lot. Um, and I'm just going to dab my other finger like this. I'm going to take a little bit and press it on the center of the lid. And then we're just going to kind of blend it out over the rest of the lid. You want to get on this part right here. And I'm kind of keeping it strictly to the lid, going a little bit above so you can see it when the eye opens. But we're not doing it all over the whole eye area. You can skip this step if you don't like glitter. I love it. So we're going to do the colored liner next, and I picked this up. It's the 24-7 liquid, waterproof liquid line from Urban Decay, and it's in the color Radium, which is this kind of cobalty blue, um, really kind of vibrant electric blue color. And I picked this for this look because in the video he's wearing a blue shirt, um, so we're kind of tying that together. And we're just doing a basic winged liner um, with it's a little thicker on the ends because I really want to be able to see the color so I'm gonna zoom in again so you guys can really see what I'm doing okay so it has this super skinny brush which I really appreciate because if you get thicker ones it's so hard to get the point on the end so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set my brush down about in the middle of my eye and you can see it doesn't have to be super neat because we're going to go back over it a couple times. And I'm just going to kind of tug here. Sorry. I'm going to kind of tug here um, to get this a little bit flattened out so I don't have to try to make it in the shape of my eye. Um, so I'm going all the way where my lashes start 
at the beginning. And then pulling all the way out, just like that. Um, it's really hard to talk and do this at the same time because my mouth moves. So I'll try my best. <laughs> Um, and then for the wing, what I do is I follow the natural curve of my lower lash line like this. So I'm going to put a little dot where I want my point to end. And I'm going to drag that inwards. So I got the shape that I kind of want. Um, it doesn't look like the other eye. This eyeliner, I will say, if you guys aren't good at this, I would not practice with this liner because it does not move. Um, you can see it's not, it's not moving. So I'm just going to go over here and kind of adjust this one, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back with the liquid liner, and they look the same on both sides. Um... It is, it's kind of tricky, you kind of got to get a hang of it, but once you get a hang of it, it's really super easy. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out. Next, I'm going to take a black liner. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Zero is the color. It's just a black. And I'm going to line my waterline. And basically what your waterline is, is this, like, fleshy tone color in here. So we're just going to color it black, basically. And then I'm also going to do my upper waterline, which is just right under your lashes. This takes practice, too. Um, it feels really weird getting used to it. Another way you can do it if you're really uncomfortable lining the top one is you can line your bottom one and then blink. So the color transfers to the top waterline. Also, I'm going to take a little bit of this and kind of push it into my lashes and scrub it around with my finger. Just so we get a little bit of like smokiness under the eye. Okay, I'm going to curl my lashes and do mascara, and then I'll be right back. Hey, guys, I applied mascara to my lashes, um, and so we're going to move on to eyebrows. Um, I was really inspired by the shape of his brows. I'm kind of really weird, and I really like the way his eyebrows look. <laughs> so if you don't like them, you can just fill them in the way you want to. But I kind of like his eyebrows. I'm just going to take a lighter brow color. I always use this. Oh my gosh. I always use this one pretty much every day. It's just like a light brown, maybe even like a blonde color. And it's very ashy in tone or neutral. It's a true neutral. You want something truly neutral to do your eyebrows with so it doesn't appear warm on your face. So I'm really going to square off this point up here. I'm going to push my brush because I really want the color deposited evenly there. Okay. And then his kind of went straight across. So literally like straight across in the front. And his were more like inward here, but I'm not going to do that. And then I'm going to fill in the bottom because it was like a really nice arch, very practical, practical. It's very traditional arch shape here. And then they didn't come down super far. And um, then the top was a lot more arched. And what I like about his brows is they're not the same. If you look 
at pictures around this time, which would be like 87, um, they're not the same looking. One of them is a little higher than the other filled in. And so it just has some interest to the face. I just really like it. But like I said, if you don't, you can do your eyebrows how you want. So I'm just really building this arch here. And I'm going to go in with a little bit of a darker color and just kind of fill in where my hair actually is so it appears darker. And if you fill in your brows and you feel like it's too much, you can always go back and kind of like smooth it out. So next we're going to move on to the rest of the face and I just have some pink blush for the cheeks. I want to keep it pretty um, simple on the rest of the face because we do have that color up there which is going to draw the eye up. So we don't want to compete too much and if you're doing the brows this way it's also going to people are going to really focus on this area of your face. So you don't want to have too much going on. So I'm just applying a pink blush on the apples on my cheeks and then brushing it upwards towards the hairline. And that's it. Next I'm going to just line my lips in a neutral color. Um, this is an extra step. If you guys don't like to line your lips, you don't have to do this. And then I'm just going to take a pale lip cream from Lancome. It's just like a beigey color. And I'm just going to kind of push it onto my lips. I don't want a whole lot of color. And then I'm going to take a little bit of pink gloss. This is Turkish Delight from NARS. And I'm going to press it onto the center of my lips just to make them look fuller and healthy. This is a finished look, guys. Um, I really hope you guys like this. I had a lot of fun um, trying to come up with something um, that would still be wearable for you guys, but be very um, Michael-inspired. And you have to excuse my hat. I'm having a really super bad hair day. I don't know what's happening. It must be the weather. I don't know. But anyway, so I really hope you guys try this. And if you do, please take pictures. I'd love to see or hear um, how much you liked it or where you wore it to or whatever, anything like that. I would love to hear it. So, um, yeah, get back with me, and there will be more videos to come. I know I'm definitely going to do a Billie Jean-inspired one, and I'm also going to do a jam music video, and then I'm probably going to do one that shows you how he put on his makeup or how his makeup artist put on his makeup um, so that you guys, if you're doing, like, a costume look, um, you can look very Michael Jackson, like him. So, um... Yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching again. Rate, comment, subscribe, and check out my blog too. So, yeah, thanks. Bye, guys. <laughs> I can't. Oh my gosh, there's squirrels outside. They're so cute. They're everywhere. Anyway. Hey. Nobody business, ain't nobody business, ain't nobody's business but mine and my baby.